We've already studied a bit how value parameters work in C++, so I've got a, a function called doubler here. It's taking in two integers. I'm simply multiplying each of them by two. Um, down here in main, I have two variables that are also integers. The first one set equal to five, and the second one set equal to six. I'm going to call this guy. I'm actually going to print um, their values inside the function as well. And let's just see what that looks like. So in this variation, um, I have their original values as 5 and 6. They go to the function. It doubles them. I print them again. When they're doubled, I get 10 and 12. Once I hit this closing curly, control returns to right here. And then I print out the numbers again. And since they're value parameters, they revert to their original values. We've seen that before. And we've talked about how to return one thing from a function by changing this return type to a different value, and we can send back one value in that way. Well, C++ has a little thing that you can do um, that lets you actually send back more than one piece of information, and it's not really sending it back. It's more like instead of giving this function a copy of each of these variables, instead of the real variables, we're saying go ahead and go to the real memory location of the variable and you can change it. And all I have to do to specify that is put an ampersand in front of the name of these guys. And when we do that, instead of being now value parameters, they are reference parameters. Okay, so let's see what that does. Ah, so now I send the 5 and 6 up into the function. They get multiplied by 2. When I print here, I get my 10 and 12. And when control returns back to main, these two variables have actually been changed by the function for real. There is no copy. It's just pointing directly to the real variable, and so those changes stick. And in that way, I can get more than one piece of information or more than one change to go back from the function into main or to whatever other function called it. Um, it's a little bit dangerous, so we don't want to just do this all the time. We only want to do it when we really need that function to change it. Um, otherwise, we should continue to pass by value. Okay, and I just want to show you for sure this definitely works, and you can mix them, so I can have one be a value parameter and one be a reference parameter, and their order doesn't matter, but if I change it so that one is not, now when the second variable comes back, it reverts because the copy is tossed out, so I have 10 and 6. Okay.